Hello. Good evening. Hi, everybody. Hello. Can you hear me? Hi, teacher. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can. I can. Hi. How are you guys? Everything's good, teacher. How are okay. you? I'm doing well. And you? Everything's good. Perfect. Thank you for joining, guys. Welcome to start. It's a pleasure to, to be with you this new session. So I hope you could have a great day. And well, it's nice to start with, with you. We're going to begin with the session. Let me see if I have more participants in the meeting. Natalie, how are you today? One. How was your day, guys? Welcome, Roxana. Good evening. Welcome, Mauricio. Good evening, teacher. Hi. How are you, guys? Good night, teacher. Hello. How's it going? Good, and you? Everything is okay. Thank you for asking. Yeah. Thank God, I'm good. Thank you. What about Roxana? Natalie, how are you? Everything good? Can you hear me? Anna? Natalie? Okay, um, can you all hear me well? Can you hear me well? Yes, you sure. Yeah? Okay. Yes. Very good. Yes, Excellent. Hi, how are you? Good evening. Good evening. How was your day, Roxana? I'm good. Excellent. It was good. It was good. It was perfect, too. Yeah. Everything is, you know, amazing. Thank God. Thank God. Yes. Okay. Uh, we are starting. I just want to remind you about the midterm. Remember that we have to take it today. So, you have done it, great job. If not, remember you have time, you have to, to do it today. The meter, let's get ready, let's do it, let's do your best. And remember that you have to take it today, okay? Over time, you have to take it today, the meter. Okay, and continue working in the platform, platform, right? So if you have any questions, just let me know, and of course, I'm going to help you. So I have received uh, uh, one of your, I have received some messages from, from some one of you. So I haven't checked them. I will do it, and I will help you, okay? In the meantime, will I have you in the meeting? Oh, you did. Good evening. Hello. Hello. Hello, how's it going? Everything good? Thank you. Yes. yes, and you? Everything is all right, yeah. Thank you. Thanks for asking. Well, let's begin. Don't forget, remember, again, I will, I will repeat. We have to complete after the meter today. Let's, are you ready? Are you ready? And Continue working in the platform. Again, if you have some problems, if you have some issues with the platform, just let me know. And of course, I'm going to help you. Right? So, again, so we're ready. Begin, and I will share my screen with you. All right. So, this is session number eight. And this is what we have for today. Topic is adverbial classes of time. Yesterday, we were talking about relative classes of time. Today, we will talk about adverbial classes of time. That is different. And well, today is Thursday, March 11th, 2021. It's a great pleasure to be with you and work with you again. We are beginning. Let me see if I have more participants in the meeting. Yes, I have more. Or Gabriela. Godofredo. Hello, everybody. Hi, guys. And Godofredo. Good evening. Welcome. How are you doing, guys? 
Finley Wilkin. How are you? Everything all right? Hi, teacher. Hi. How's it going? Good, good. <laughs> very nice, very nice. Thank you for joining. What about Gabriela? How about you, Gabriela? Hi, teacher. Hi, how's it going? I'm Everything fine, good? teacher. Okay. Excellent. Thank you. I'm happy to hear that. I'm happy to hear that everybody is really good. Really good. Perfect. Let's continue. It's session number eight, like I said before. And today we're going to focus on this topic, adverbial classes of time. We're going to detail all related to this topic because we have, we have a lot of going to begin. And let's begin by saying what an adverbial is, an adverbial class is. And the following information. An adverbial class is a group of words, functions as, as an adverb, and that contains a subject in a verb. Yes, that is a class. A class or is a sentence. Okay. And that class contains an adverb. Okay. And we have a subject in a in a verb. That is an adverb class. Okay. Next, can you help me with the second bullet? Roxana, please. At this start, at this start. Roxana? Okay, Roxana is having some issues. I will select another participant. I swear, please, can, can you help me with the second bullet? Star? Yes, yes. At the start, right? Yeah, at the start. Okay. At the start of every adverb clause, there is a subordinating conjun conjunction. When, conjunction? after, before, conjunction. When, repeat again, sorry, when, after, when, after, before, since, etc. But what yes. is the, the correct pronunciation for con, 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 yeah. conjunction? Conjunction. 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 Conjunction, yes. Okay, okay thanks. Explanation. Well, prefer to continue. Let me, let me, well, I will focus on the first, the first aspect. Right, an adverbial class, an adverbial class, as I before, that is an, an adverb. I mean, that is a group of words, of a group of words. And in that group of words, we have an adverb, a subject, and we have a, a verb. Okay? For example, when, you, when we say like, when we say when I come home, Okay, that is an adverb class. We have an adverb, or this is a subordinating conjunction, as we as I said previously. When it's an adverb, it is a subordinating conjunction. I, the subject, come the verb, and then we have a complement. This is a an adverb, adverb class. An adverb class. When I come home, okay, that is the first thing that we have to know. And we have different subordinating conjunctions. Okay. For example, Jose mentions when, after, before, while, have, since, etc. Okay. These are subordinating conjunctions. When do we use subordinating conjunctions? We use subordinating conjunctions. Conjunctions. Uh, want to join, join conjunctions, join or connect two ideas, sentences, two classes. Okay, 
that is a subordinate conjunction. A subordinate conjunction joins two ideas, connect, connect two ideas. And we have when, after, before, while, seems, etc. And these are subordinating conjunctions of time. All of them are for time. Okay? That is the second aspect. What about the third bullet? The third bullet. You can see, I will listen to... Oh, by the way, I hope you can line the meeting. Hi, Isela. Good evening. Welcome. Hi, good evening. Sorry to be late. Okay. I have a, uh, some issues with my computer. Okay, I understand. Don't worry. Thank you for informing and thanks for being here. We are beginning. This is the topic for today on very classes. Okay, classes. Okay. We're saying that an adverb class is a group of words that functions as an adverb and that specific, you know, Group of words contains a subject in a verb. For example, when we say, when I come home, I come home, this is another verb class. Why? Because we have an adverb or a subordinating conjunction, subject, the verb, and we have a complement. Okay? So that is another verb class. And also, as I said, we start uh, at the start of the other class, sorry. At the beginning of the, of the class, we use a subordinating conjunction. And what is a subordinating conjunction? That one joins two ideas that link two sentences or two classes. Okay? That is a subordinating conjunction. And the third aspect says, it is composed of two classes. One dependent class or ordinary class and independent class or main class. Have two classes. Okay. So it could be in the two ways. We have the structures in here. And then the dependent class, and then class, or the subordinate class, that is what we can call them, dependent class or subordinate class. And then we have the independent class or the main class. Okay. Those are the two classes. Right? When we have the dependent class, that one, it is not completed. Okay. So the dependent class, not complete. Dependent class, not complete. So we need something else. And that, that's what we had or we include the main class, the independent class. We join the two idea because the dependent class is not complete. For example, if you say, again, if you say when I come home, it is not complete. The idea is not complete. When I come home, why? But that is the dependent class. And the dependent class is not complete. So we can say dependent class or ordinary class. Ordinary class. And then we have the independent class or the main class. That is the main class. And that class helps to give, in this case, sense to the sentence. So that one makes sense. Okay. We can have the two ways. We can start with this dependent class and then the independent class. Or we can have vice versa. We can have the independent class first and then independent class. Okay, we can do it. All right? So far so good? So far so good? Any questions? No question. No? Okay. No. For me, it's a little bit confused, but maybe if uh, if you sh can show an example, sure. and maybe sure. it's going to be more clear for me. Sure, sure. On the next Thank slide, you. by the way, on the next slide, I will show you some examples. We're going to see how his, you know, functions. Excellent one. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Again, we have the, the structures. 
not the structure. Okay. Or we have the structures, the dependent class or the subordinate class plus independent class or the main class. That is the first way. Or we have a second way. We can start with the independent class or the main class plus the dependent class. Here we have some examples. When he comes home, he will do his home. When he comes home, he will do his home. So the dependent class in here is when he comes home. Because that idea is not complete. When he comes home, what? He will do his homework. So he will do his homework is the main class. Okay? We use this one. This is the this is the dependent class. And he will do his homework. This is the independent class or the main class. This is the main class. Okay, those are the two classes, dependent class and independent class. Okay. When he comes home, he will do his home. Or when I come home, I will do my homework. Okay. We use again the dependent class. The dependent class contains the adverbial class. The adverbial class. Because we have the adverb or the subordinate conjunction, which is when. And we have the subject, the verb, and a complement. And with that specific structure, we separate with a comma. When he comes home, comma, he will do his work. Can we say this idea in the other way? Yes, we can. We can say, he will do his homework when he comes home. And it's the same, but we don't alter, we don't alter the meaning, we don't alter the meaning, so we change positions, in position, but we don't alter the meaning, so we have the same meaning, he will do, he will do his homework when he comes on. In this case, the subordinate conjunction is in the middle, it's in the middle, and we don't use columns, we don't use columns. So this is about the second structure. We start with the independent class or the main class, and then we have the dependent class. Okay, another example. Or, that is another subordinating conjunction, as we said previously. These are the subordinating conjunctions when, after, before, while, since, etc. This is another example. Before she went to school, she packed her backpack. Or she went to school, she packed the backpack. Okay, again, we start with the adverbial class, the subordinate class, the, the subordinate conjunction in there, and that idea, that idea is not complete. When we say before she went to school, it doesn't make sense. We need to complete, so we need a main class or an independent class. We went to school, what happened? He packed the backpack. That makes sense. Okay. Again, we can change this idea. We can change this idea. We can say he packed the backpack before she went to school. And again, we have the so for the conjunction, we have we have it in the middle, and we don't use comma. We don't include comma. We don't include comma when we have this this scenario. Before she went to school, comma, she packed the backpack. So in this case, we begin with the subordinate conjunction. Subordinate conjunction is before. Before she went to school, comma, she packed the backpack. Or she packed backpack before she went to school. The same. And again, we don't alter the meaning. Another example. Another example. I will brush 
my teeth after I have breakfast. I will brush my teeth after I have breakfast. Okay, in this case, we have the second way, second structure. As we start with the main class and then we have the subordinate class, independent, dependent. We can change, we can start, and we can say, after I have breakfast, remember, Oma, I will brush, I will brush my teeth. I will brush my teeth. And it's the same. It's the same. We only change positions. positions. We don't alter the meaning. We don't lose it. We lose it. We keep it. Okay, this is the way we construct uh, the two classes with the algebraic classes. Algebraic classes with the subordinating conjunctions. Right? Any questions that you have? So far, so good? No. Everything is good. I understand. Okay, thank you. Somebody else? Questions? You can ask me. Questions? Are so good? No question, teacher. Right. Okay, I will show you more examples because I need to give you more, you know, more subordinating conjunctions because we have more, have more subordinating conjunctions. We're gonna use them in context. That's why I brought more examples and number one. Well, this is what I told you previously that we can change positions and we don't lose the meaning, we keep it. Okay, so we only change positions, but we have to pay close attention to the punctuation marks. Punctuation marks. When I refer to punctuation marks, if we use, you know, comma, uh, capital letter member, and period at the end. Because we have two classes, but we have to, uh, we have to connect them, yes, but we have to use some certain impression marks, okay? With the first example, with the first example, I took a nap after I had lunch. In that case, we don't use comma, because we have the subordinate conjunction in the middle. And the subordinate conjunction is after, after. I took a nap after I had lunch. What is the main class, guys? What is the main class? I took a nap. I took a nap, yes. I took a nap. And what is the dependent class or the subordinate class? After I class? had lunch. After I had lunch. That is the, the time class. That is another way to call it time class, ordinary class, or dependent class. So those three ways are correct. Absolutely. Absolutely. So what is the subordinating conjunction? After I had a lunch. Exactly. I mean after I had but lunch. if after, after is after. the uh, yeah, it's subordinating. Subordinate conjunction, exactly. That is a subordinate conjunction that we use. Okay. And well, then we can change positions. Okay. We can start with the aggregate class, and class, and then we have the main class. After we have lunch, but in this case, we use special marks, we use comma. I took an app. That is when we construct yes, the two classes or the adverbial classes. Something that you have to pay attention to is that we use the tenses. We use simple present, simple past, simple future, we will probably. We can use different tenses, different tenses. 
As you can see in this example, we just see simple paths, both, both. Those are past actions. And you can now after I had lunch. In the previous examples, we were using blueberry, blueberry, okay? We bury in this case. We bury the tenses. When I, when he comes home by the simple present, I will do he will do his homework. But it's future. We change. We can have simple present, we can have simple future we will, we can have be going to even, we can have you know simple past, etc. We can vary. And in this example, again, we have, you know, simple past and simple past. Simple past. And, and we can change. We can write this idea in different positions. And we can change ideas and we keep the meaning. We, we don't alter it. Okay. Any questions about this, you know, the way we change the ideas? No question. Anybody else? Questions? No teacher. In the first uh, sentence, I took a nap after I had lunch. It's not necessary uh, the comma. No, we don't because use it. After, after is making the same use. As comma. Exactly. We can say in that way. I mean, the subordinate conjunction or the conjunction is in the middle. That's why we don't use comma. Just in that form, thing. but in the other one, it, we separate by comma, right? After I yeah. had lunch, comma, I took a nap. Yeah, because the conjunction is at the beginning. The beginning. And if you don't use comma, I mean, that is not correct. Grammatically, after I had lunch, I took a nap. I mean, it's like you, 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 you don't make a pause. After I had lunch, I took a nap. You know that we make pauses when we have comma. But when we have some conjunction marks like, you know, periods, etc. So we make okay, pauses. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Anybody else? More questions? Else? No question. Okay. Perfect. We're going to move on and I will show you more examples with other conjunctions because we have more. This was just an example and the way we change or we make changes in the positions. Okay. Specific. Moving on. Well, here we have, first we're going to see the examples and then I will assign you a short exercise. What I want to do is to look at the examples that we have in here. We have different subordinating conjunctions. We have after, as soon as, for, since, until, when, whenever, while. When and whenever are the same. When and whenever. That is not a way to, you know, we can change and use synonyms. When and whenever. Let's go one by one. After. That is the first, you know, conjunction. We already saw an example, but let's see another one. Say, I will listen to Mauricio. Can you help me with the first example? Sorry, did you, can you repeat? Yeah, sure. Can you help me with the first example? After, with the condition after? I will. I will. I will go straight to bed after. I finish writing this paragraph. Yes, thank you. This is the first one. Uh, again, these conjunctions are for time, all of them. After time. That's why we are talking about adverbial classes of time. Because these expressions or these conjunctions 
express time, okay, uh, a particular time, let's say, and it depends on the tense and we're just, I guess, in the present, the past, etc. Okay, I will go straight to the bed after I finish writing this paragraph. Okay, so we can change the positions. Well, what could be the way we change position? What is the other way? The other, the other way. Yes. Oh, it's uh... when I finish writing this this mm. paragraph, I I will go straight to bed. Okay, very good. Thank you, Marisa. Can I repeat again? Repeat again, Roxana, please. What is the other way? After oh. I finish, after I finish writing this paragraph, comma, I will go straight straight to bed. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. That is the other way. After I finish writing this paragraph. But I have the keyboard far from me. I will go straight. Okay. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. But I say the other way. After I finish writing this paragraph, I will go straight to the bed. Okay. We know that with this way, okay, we use comma. Okay. With the other one, no, because the conjunction is in the middle. Very good. Next, we have a sunas. That is a new one. Sunas. What is the example? Let me see. I will listen to Judith. Sunas. Yes. Uh, is is read or the yeah, change. Please, can you read the example? Okay. She felt better as soon as she took the medicine. I don't know. Pronounce. Medicine. 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 Okay, medicine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in that case, we're using as soon as. She felt better as soon as she took the medicine. Okay. What is the other way? What is the other form? She took. Uh, as soon as she took the medicine, she felt better. Yeah. Okay. As soon as she felt better. Oh, sorry. She took the, the medicine. He felt better. Yes. This is the way. So we can change. And we have the same. Next, before, before I listen to one. Is the three sentence? Yes. Wait for a green light before you cross a street. Very good. What is the other way, Juan? Before you cross a strip, wait for a green light. Yes. Exactly. That is something that we have to be careful when we are uh, in the, the streets. We are crossing the streets. We have to wait. Okay, wait before. Before you cross the street. Before you cross the street. Wait for a green light. Very good. So next, scenes. Scenes. Go we'll listen to Gabriela, please. Do you remember the example? Number four, scenes. Okay, teacher. 
It has been a year since I left home. Okay. Very good. What is the other way? Since Since I left home, I has been a year. It has been a year. It has been a year. Very good. It okay, this it has been a year. Very good. So this in this case, when we use since, we tend to use it also the times, the times we use since with the present perfect. It has been a year since I left home. Okay. And the other post the other way, as Arela said, since I left home, it has been a year. So this um you know this um a specific conjunction we, we tend to use it most of the times with the present perfect present time. For example, when you say let me see I have had it at the university. Since I, I I was eighteen years old. Okay, so this is the way we we tend to use since with the present perfect. I have studied at the university since I was eighteen years old. When we use present perfect, remember, it's because we have an action that is started in the past and continue in the present. Okay, and we say it's something in the past, trying to, to add more information. We use things. Because in this case, the yeah, adverb class. Perfect. Next, until. Let's go with Rosalville. Until. What is the example? We can't leave the room until everyone finish the test. Exactly. What is the other way, Godofredo? What is this? the other form? Until every young finishes the test, we can leave the room. Yes. But again, Godofredo, everyone. Everyone. Everywhere. Yes. You say until everyone finishes the test, we can't here, the room. Uh, another example with this specific conjunction, until, we can say, for example, in our session, we can, we can't uh, leave the meeting until, say, uh, Mr. Vasquez, Finishes session. Okay. That is another way. That is the way we use until. Until. We can't leave the meeting until Mr. Vasquez finishes or session. Okay. Next, well, when and whenever they are the same. See, so, yeah, I will listen to I swear, please. Come up with next. When? Okay. With when, right? Yes. When, when. I call, where were you? Okay. Are you saying the other that way? That is okay. I call, where were you? Yeah, you can say it. You can say it. Okay. But in questions, it's common to see it like this. Where were you when I called? But you can say in that way, as you said, when I called, where were you? When I called, where were you? When I called, where were you? Yeah, you can say in that way. Or this way, it's common to see this okay. way. Where were you when I called? Perfect. This is the way we use it 
Uh, we use the, the appropriate classes with okay. questions. Thank you. Okay. I'll go with Roxana. Can you remember okay, next? Thank Whenever. You. You're welcome. Okay. Whenever I don't sleep well, I feel sick, sick the next day. Yes. That is another one. And whenever it's similar to when, another conjunction that we have, and it's similar to when and whenever is by the time. This is another one. And it's similar to when and whenever. I would say when, okay? By the time or when? It's another conjunction. Okay. Wait, what is the other way? Oh, I I feel sick. Sick. Oh, sorry. I feel sick the next day whenever I don't sleep well. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. And the last one, the last one is while. While. Let's see if Natalie can help us. Natalie? While. Well, the neighbor were having, having a party while I was trying to sleep. Yes, exactly. What is the other word, Natalie? While. While, while I was trying to sleep, my neighbor were Hi, hey, we, I party. Party, yeah. Happy. Well, I was trying to sleep. Neighbors having a party. We tend to use this kind of um, subordinating conjunction. We use it when we have parallel actions, parallel actions. And what, what is a parallel action? It's when we have, you know, we have some certain situations that, you know, happen or are happening at a certain time, at a particular time. In this case, we're using past continuous. Those are uh, actions that were happening at a certain time. So, and we have, Parallel actions. I was trying to sleep. My neighbors were having a party. Those are parallel actions. While I was trying to sleep, my neighbors were having a party. Or another possibility, it could be like my mother was cooking while I was doing my hard work. So these are parallel actions. And we use while this way. Okay. Well, any questions? Pretty good. Any doubts, any questions? Everything clear? No question for me, no question. Perfect. Thank you. Anybody else? It's okay for me, teacher. Thanks. Okay, well, bad questions, remember, let me know. We're going to practice and now look, look at the examples. What do we have to do? We have to select two subordinate so conjunctions. Only two. Only two. Of course, if you want to write more, you can Select more, okay? It's okay. But right now you have to select two subordinate conjunctions and you have to write two examples. You know? Okay, you can select whatever you want. For example, I will select after and until. So you have to write two examples with those subordinate conjunctions. You have after, as soon as, before, since, until, when, whenever, while. Let's go. I will give you some time. Write two examples, choose two subordinate conjunctions, and based on that, you have to write your own examples, on ideas. Let's go. Get some help. Let me know. Okay. Yeah. 
And once you're ready, same, let me know and we're going to listen to you. I will give you three or four minutes. I have a question. Tell me, tell me. The, that sentence is correct. While I, I was doing my homework, I was eating my breakfast. Yeah, yeah, because you were doing two activities or two actions at the same time. Yeah. Okay, and when I play soccer with my friends, I'm the best. Yeah. Pretty good. I'm the best. Okay. In the soccer field, I am the best player in the soccer field or in the stadium, etc. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Very nice. Okay. So five great examples. Thank you, Josue. Thanks. A pleasure. It's a pleasure. Yeah, you can you can include with the first example that Josue gave us, I was doing my homework while, or I will, while I was doing my homework, sorry, I was eating, I think you said breakfast or dinner, I'm not sure. Oh yeah, say, yes, while I, I was I, eating my breakfast. Breakfast, right? Okay. While I was doing my homework, I was eating breakfast because you're doing two activities with two actions at the same time. Yes, it's okay. Okay. Very nice. Thanks for sharing. I have two examples, but I don't know if they are correct. Let's go. Let's, let's go. Share the, the first one. The first one is, I cook my diner, my dinner after I finish my English class. Yeah. And in the other way, could be after I finish my English class, I cook my diner. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, because you do an yeah. activity after the, another action. Yeah, and the other one is, I like to watch movies when I have free time. Yeah, it's okay. And, and in the other, other way, the same yeah. sentence is when I have free time, I like to watch movies, yes. Yeah, exactly, that okay. is nice. Hey, cool, thank you. And I uh, just one thing, repeat after me. Dinner. 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 Good dinner. Yes. Thank you. Perfect. Those are excellent examples. Thanks. Someone else ready? Yes, I'm ready. Yes. Oh, okay. I'll listen to Roxana and then you did. Okay. Okay. The first one. I was 
trying to study English while my mother was watching TV. Yeah. And the second one, after I, after I finish my English class, I will go to bed. Okay, yeah, exactly. Correct? That is, that is the way, yes. Both are correct. Thanks, Anna. Very good. Uh, take it, well, take into account that we have the other way, uh, two forms. For example, you, you can marry. Okay, but it's fine. Perfect. I will go with Judith. I have uh, my examples. Okay, and then I will listen to one, right? I think one reason. Only the one form or the two form? Uh, only one form. But give me a okay. second. I will listen to Judith and then you. Okay, please. Thank you. Uh, I take the bus when I go to the city. In the second, before to study, I have breakfast. Okay, prepare again the last one. Uh, before to study, I have breakfast. Okay. Yeah. Only with the last one, I think probably you can say before I study. Or you can say before studying, I have breakfast. Probably okay. you can say in that way, or before I before I study, I have breakfast. Okay. But yeah, it's very fine. Thank you too. It's a pleasure. Good. All right. Okay. Okay. I am going to read why my husband wait for the doctor. Okay. Oh, why my husband wait for the doctor? I am going to read. Repeat the last one, sorry. Okay. Why, uh, why, why my husband wait for the doctor? I am going to read. No. Yes. Yeah, because you're saying something in the in the present time before. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. While my husband, has, you say husband, right? Husband. Yes. yes. Husband. Okay. Yes. Before my before, <laughs> sorry, before my husband <laughs> wakes for the doctor, I'm going to read a book. Yes. Yeah. It's okay. Very nice. Okay. Did you repeat the last one, sorry? Person, sorry, the person. Me? Yeah, good. The first one. The present. No, the first example, sorry. Ah. I I exercise more before the pandemic. Oh no. Oh. It's other other one. Yeah, yeah, no. yeah, yeah. Yeah. Tell me, tell me, tell me. It's okay. I exercise more before the pandemic. Hmm, okay, yeah, I like it. Only one thing. Okay. We can say, okay. you, you use after, right? After. That is the conjunction that you use, right? After. I exercise. After. More. I, I exercise more, right? After. Yes. The pandemic, right? Before, okay. no. Ah, oh, before. before. Before the pandemic. The pandemic, mm -hmm. okay. okay, nice. Well, in that case, just one detail. You can say, I exercise more, or I do exercise more. But uh, I exercise is the past, no? Oh, okay, in past, okay. Yeah. I exercise. Mm -hmm. Or more before, before the pandemic, the pandemic. Yes. you can say um a starter because you have to include okay. a verb a verb for the okay. pandemic starter. Okay, yeah, but that is nice, that is nice. Thank you. Very good. Okay. Do you have somebody else, another volunteer? Okay, teacher, I will I will go home after finish my job. Yeah. And the net. 
is we can eat popcorn until everyone get to the cinema. Okay, with the last one, repeat again. We can eat pot, popcorn until everyone get to the cinema. Okay, so you say you say can, right? Can or can't? Can we can eat popcorn until we get until everybody until is there, right? Everyone get to the cinema. Yes. Okay. Yeah. It's okay. Thank you, Gabriela. Very nice. Good job. Okay. Somebody else? I can try, teacher. Please, yeah. Sure. Uh, after going to the gym, I will go to bed. We'll go yeah. to bed. That's correct? Yeah, because you say before going, that is another way we can combine. We can say before go to where I go or we go to the the gym, right? After I can see. Okay. Uh, I can say I will go to the to bed after going to the gym. Oh no. Yeah. No. Yeah, because you can change. You can change. And change positions. You say after going to the gym, I will go to, to bed, right? But you can say I will yes. go to bed after going to the gym. Yes. Very good. But and just the other one. Take it. Okay, tell me, tell me, tell me. I was talking with my girlfriend while I was watching TV. Yeah, exactly. Very good. That is the way. Only one thing, yeah, we can use, we can use these combinations before going, to, I'm sorry, after, you can say after going to the gym, or you can say after I go to the gym, it's okay. Okay, teacher. Okay. If you say after going to the gym, I will go to bed, you can use this form, you can use this form, if you have the same subject, I say the same subject if you're talking about you. In this case, because uh, Marisa, you're talking about you, you can say after going to the gym, I will go to the bed. I will go to bed, sorry. Uh, you can say that. Okay, but if you're talking about the same subject, if you're talking about you, you can say after going to the gym, I will go to bed. Okay. Or you can say after okay. go to the gym, I will go to bed. Both are correct. Very good. Thank hey, you, teacher. Marisa. Thanks. Thanks. Any questions, please? Well, have previous classes. Time. Is everything clear? Yeah. Well, how comments? That is not clear. Are we clear? Does it make sense? Questions? Everything is good for me, teacher. The rest? No, teacher. Sorry, sorry. Teacher, sorry. I have a question. I don't understand exactly the idea where the, the last example that Mauricio said yeah. about after going to the gym, it is saying when you say after I am going. Yeah, yeah. we can let me explain. Let me explain. We can it's, make some in the first one is tell me, tell me, tell me. Yeah. Tell me, tell me, tell me. Hey, when we have this kind of, you know, classes, every classes, okay, we have the conjunctions, yes, after, before, when, etc. When we have conjunctions, conjunctions, we can make some reductions. Reductions. Well, what is a reduction? We can omit subjects, and we can become 
the verb in ninety four. Okay, after going to the gym, I will go to bed. But you can make those reductions if you're talking about the same subject, the same pronoun, etc. If you're talking about you, you say, for example, after I go to the gym, I will go to bed. So you're talking about you, okay? So you can omit, you can reduce this idea. You can use and you form. After going to the gym, I will go to bed. So we can do it because you're talking about you. But if you're talking about another person, for example, if you say, while I was doing my homework, my mother was cooking dinner, in that case, we cannot do it. Because you're talking about your mother and talking about you. You cannot do it. You can do it when you have the same subject. The same subject. Okay, so both ways are correct. Both ways are correct. That is the way we use it. And the verb is in ing form. So we omit the subject. That is a reduction that we make. Is it clear? Does it make sense? Mm. Kind of? Yes, but I don't understand. Uh, going after going going in this case what what is the tense i don't understand the tense or going I mean, is like a like a gerund subject like a gerund yeah exactly but it depends that is another thing of course you you already mentioned one aspect that it's really important if you have simple present you can use it point okay point or even if you have, um, well, probably you have past continuous, I mean, those kind of tenses. But most of the times we use it with simple present. Present. In this case, because it's simple present, I go to the gym. Go to the gym. After I go to the gym, I will go to bed. We use it in this case with simple present. Another example, it could be like, Uh, before having breakfast, I will go to after in this case. After having breakfast, I will brush my teeth. It's like you say after, after I have breakfast, I will brush my teeth. I mean, this is another, another option that you have. I mean, but most of the times we use these forms. After I go to the gym, I will go to bed. Uh, this is a reduction that we make in some cases. You want to avoid saying all the word. We can use them and apply. Oh, the tense. The it's tense is the simple is a simple present. Simple present, yes. And so it, it depends. You have to be careful in this case. Is that clear? What's that? Yes. And the rest of the I class? Think, I think, yes. Okay. okay, if you have more questions, let me know. And of course, I, I'm going to help you. Okay, sure. All right. So, somebody else? Okay. No. No? For Very cool. me, Very cool. everything is clear, but. I have a question about the platform. Oh, okay. Tell me. I don't know if I can send you. Yeah. In the part uh, when we have to hear uh, audio in yeah. the carnival is the section three in the first part. Uh, I try to write the answers, but every time that I put it, and I put later a uh, send, all the answers uh, are wrong. So mm. I don't know exactly what answers are uh, to put it and how many times the platform uh, can I get wrong and it doesn't matter. Yeah, exactly. So I think that that is the same problem that Roxana had was asking me 
Yeah. Yes. Um, I, think I have the case, same problem. Yeah, in that case. Me too. I, me too. Exactly. Well, listen, I will ask because, you know, uh, I will ask for that, for the platform. But in that case, with that exercise, with that kind of exercises, you have to be careful because you have some multiple choices. Okay. So all of them, you have multiple choices. So you have to select, you have different options. And also, probably, I'm not sure, I'm not sure about the system, but I think the system will probably give you one or two tries, okay? So if you, for example, get some wrong answers, and if you try again, probably you cannot be, you're gonna be able to, to do it, because probably the system gives you I only- I tried three tries. times. Three times, okay, so I have, be... uh, yeah, three times. And I don't want to continue trying because I don't know if they block later. Yeah. So that's, that it's a question because I, I've been trying to write it in different ways. It, the same, the same answers because I think the audio is really clear. And the answers for me are those, right? But when I start to write it, I don't know if if I have to put capital letter first or just write or what. In that case, in that and cases. I don't know if I can jump that that uh, part and continue with other exercise. Well, for me, teacher, the problem is the is the platform. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because the audio is clear. Yeah, exactly. Well, let me do something. Let me do something. I will ask someone from Inglés Corporativo about that. I think a technician or something from you know the informatics department. I will ask for that because I'm not sure about the price that the platform gives you. I will ask for that, and if you want, you can wait a moment for that part and continue if you, if you want with the other parts. And I will give you some, you know, details, some instructions in the in the group. I think in WhatsApp related to that, and. Again, what you have to do, please be careful with all the possible options and select the best one, the one that you consider, of course. Okay, I will ask tomorrow because right now it's late. I will do it tomorrow in the morning. Uh, and I will give you, I will inform you about that, okay, because uh, I have to ask for that. It will be the system gives you only one try or two tries. Okay. Don't worry. And remember, if you're having some problems or problems with the platform, let me know. And of course, I'm going to help. Okay. And also, don't forget to do the meter. Okay. You have to do the meter today. And again, if you have some trouble, some issues, let me know. All right. Any questions? Questions? In my case, I finished my midterm exam. Oh, perfect, thank you. And I, 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 I work. Uh, I was working in the in the section four. Oh, nice, today. nice. Very good. I like it. I like but it. But because... I am a little frustrating about the section three <laughs> with oh. the carnival. <laughs> audio oh. <laughs> because it, uh, it's not good for my grade at the finish. <laughs> well, at the don't worry. The don't worry. Let, <laughs> let, me, uh, let me ask. Let me ask about that tomorrow morning and I will inform you. And let's see what can we do. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Oh, the everybody. Test is in the platform. I'm sorry? The meter. The meat oh. test is in the platform. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, yeah. Well, let, let me show you. Let me show you before to go. Let me look for that. 
Give me a second. Let me show you. Yeah, the meter is in the platform. Let me guard you. On the section three, I think. Yeah, three it's in section six. Exactly. Let me show you. Okay. When you enter, let me share the screen. screen. When you enter the platform, you will see this. Okay, so you have the sections. Section one, section two, section three. And the meter is this one. So you have five questions. You have to click on, and you will see in this case, you know, the questions. You have to start completing it based on your, you know, in this case, your, what you have learned during the session two and session three. Okay. These are the instructions with the sentence and choose the correct part of the two part for missing. And then we have, you know, all the items. You have, you have multiple choices and you have to select the best answer. Okay. And can I complete this part without complete the, the part of the carnival? Yeah, you can, you can, because you know, the exercises are there. Yes, because I, because I can. Yeah, yeah, you can. You can. In my because case, I I'm can. I'm not trying. I yeah. can. Yes. When, when I have a lot of mistake in the carnival, I stop it and I don't try if, try to see if I can continue with the other sections. No, but you can do it. You can do it because, you know, okay. all the exercises are there and... You know, in this case, a meter because it's in another part, so you can complete it. And then you can continue with those exercises that you have, in this case, pending. Okay? I think the problem is your progress and your grade. <laughs> it's... Yeah, but, but... It's not the 100%. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but, you know, complete the, the meter. And if you have some problems with other exercises, just let me know and I'm going to help you. And if I don't know how to do, I will ask, you know, because I have to be honest. Okay. Everything here? Yes. Okay, Ourselves everybody. Clear. Very good. Everybody, this is all for today. I will see you next week. Remember, next Monday. Please have a nice day, Friday and weekend. God bless you. Stay safe. And I'll see you next Monday. Goodbye, everybody. Take care a lot. Okay. Thank you. Have a nice Goodbye. night. Goodbye. Goodbye, Good you. night, everybody. You. See you on Monday. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Teacher, thanks. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Thank you, too. Good night. Good night. See you on Monday.